If you're still starting from scratch when you're starting a new website project, then I'm sorry to tell you you're already behind. I haven't started from a blank page by drawing rectangles in months. AI does everything for me. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to go from absolutely zero to a live website in Figma using only AI, so stay tuned for that. So most designers start like this. Say you have a brand new website, the first thing that you're gonna do is pop into Figma, hit F, and you might just pick a brand new desktop. We should probably add some padding, some margins, stuff like that. So we can make this auto layout, shift A, and then we need to give it a little bit of padding here, something like that. It's kind of a mess. So what I do instead is using AI. And one of the best tools to do that, of course, is gonna be with Reloom. Now Reloom, as you know, has this sitemap builder where you can describe your project and it's gonna give you that starting point for the sitemap and also the wireframes. So with that, you already have that kind of done. But what if I told you that you can now do that same workflow? So you have sitemaps, wireframe, style guide, but you can also now launch the actual website with Figma sites, all done in the same platform, which is pretty incredible. So I'm gonna start from their project here. We have the sitemap. You can create your own sitemap here. You can generate the page for you using prompts, which is absolutely insane. So for example, I'm not gonna write anything here because we already have it, but we could say a homepage that showcases all the features with pricing section, the about, testimonial, blah, 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 blah. All of that, and then it's gonna generate this landing page for us. We can then click on wireframes and it'll generate these wireframes based on those sitemap generated chunks that we have written with the prompt. Then we have this other piece of kit here, which is the style guide. So this, we can actually generate these different concepts using AI as well. We can lock in the different colors here. And I've done an entire video on this. So link is up here if you actually wanna watch that and see how I go through all the different style guides. But now the amazing thing is that we can take this and place it directly inside of Figma. From Figma, we can then launch it. So we have this entire setup done pretty quickly. So the way we can do that is we go into export and now it's gonna give us this quick tutorial on how to do that. Now, before we go directly to Figma, I wanna showcase some more advanced designs that you can create with Reloom Style Guide. Now, this is one of the concepts created by Dan, which is a founder. And you can see that there are a ton of different designs that you can add within the layouts and the colors, and you can really go above and beyond with your full site. So it doesn't have to be super standard and simple like I created. You can actually go pretty above and beyond with your designs. This is another example where you have more of a SAS type feel, you can see that it doesn't need to be that simple. And your imagery can bring in a lot of the weight for the website. So even though your layout is a little bit more standard, you have these small widgets here that make the site and concept feel so incredible when you go and launch it in real life. So the first thing you need to do to get this to work is that you need their Figma kit. So they provide a free Figma kit that has kind of the base points that you need for their product to work. So they have a style guide in here already, and then it lot of the components that are already done for you for free and you could kind of build it with this if you wanted to but as you can see the feature section for example there's just a ton of them so it'd be kind of a pain to go and individually find them so what you can do if you want to import the site that you just created is you go to style guide and you type in the reloom plugin type that in and then it's going to ask you to log in do all that kind of stuff and then you can select the project that you want so in this case i'm using my youtube account here so it's very easy to only select one we then dive in to import our style guide and then we can actually also use the plugin to import our concept that we generated which can then allow us to export it to figma sites so that's going to be a super fast way of doing this all right and so then when that's done we have this project here which showcases our entire design as we had it inside of the reloom generator and now it's directly inside of figma but this is just a figma design it's not not yet a website. So in order to get this to be an actual website, there's one thing we need to do. We need to right click it and click copy to Figma sites. This will actually import it into Figma sites, which is for now a complete different part from the actual Figma design, developing all that. Figma sites is its own little area of Figma. So you need to copy and paste it directly inside of that. When we click it, it's gonna open a brand new tab, which we have here, and it'll generate this. Now it's important to make sure that you're copying both. Now, when you're done copying the homepage, just go back and grab the mobile and it'll generate a mobile version of the entire website. So now we have 
the desktop version that looks a little bit funky and the mobile version. So we can see that it's done about 95% of the work for us. We now have a site that we can publish, but it's not without its own problems. Now, this isn't gonna be a perfect solution. This is just kind of like the base plate to actually get started. And we have a little bit of cleaning up to do, but that's totally fine. I mean, it saved us about 90% of the time. So let's just go ahead and I'm just gonna remove this for now because it allows us to just get by the tutorial a little bit quicker. Okay, so we'll just have that for now and we can actually see the rest of the website. So we have to transform this into a actual menu. It's not going to generate the entire menu for us for now. So with that being done, we can now go ahead and publish this. We click publish and we now have a website that we can share with people. It has its own URL and all that fun stuff. So while that's loading, let's talk about the implications that this has for designers, for juniors to mid, because I think if we think about the pros and all the, the biggest people, they kind of have their own systems, their own retainers. So it's not necessarily a massive deal for them. But I'm in the camp that this is actually a good thing for juniors to mid designers. The reason being is because when I was starting out as a junior in mid, I was having a lot of projects that were really small fixes, tiny projects, projects that didn't really feel very fulfilling and I wish that I was doing more like big projects. So in my opinion, doing this kind of thing gets you to that level faster. You're going from a pixel pusher essentially to an art director. You're someone that has the concepts and the visual that you can direct the AI to create the kind of low level stuff for you. And that is a good thing. Now it's a bad thing because you need to know what to say to the AI and you kind of need to develop that eye somehow. But we can see that with Reloom, you can get to that art director level from being a junior pretty smoothly, right? I just told the AI what to do and it generated this pretty nice site for us. Now, a couple things to talk about. If everybody is doing the same exact websites, then it's gonna get pretty boring pretty quick. So knowing where and how to add in your own touch and personality to these starting points is gonna be key as a designer. And remember, AI is gonna be doing most of the kind of boring, bland stuff for now. So you can have that edge when you decide to take it up a notch. You can add in more animations. You can add in better styling. You can create your own color schemes. You can kind of do in your own imagery. It doesn't need to be a cookie cutter type of website. You can do your own stuff. So that's where you are gonna come in as a designer. So it doesn't mean that this is gonna replace you at all. In fact, I think this is gonna help you feel more like a human being and less like a robot that's just punching in the boring stuff that obviously you don't need to be doing this kind of footer header, you know, like why not get an AI to do it for you or even get a template or something like that. Why not take the time to do a nice animation, a nice design? This is going to allow you to accomplish. So in the next video, we're gonna go above and beyond. We're gonna take a simple website like this built inside of Figma sites and Reloom, and we're going to take it to the next level. We're going to use animations. We're going to have our own style guide. We're going to go super deep into the Webflow ecosystem. So stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.